The old woman wrapped her fingers in coarse salt and dipped them into boiling water. Just as her skin was about to blister, she finally pulled her hand out. Her sister, watching in pain, sucked on her own fingers in sympathy. Then, the old woman bandaged her hand in layer upon layer of cotton, foolishly hoping to attain the delicate skin of a young girl. But a week later, when she unwrapped the cotton, there was no change. Worried about how to appease the lecherous king, her dilemma was interrupted by the king's knock on the door. The old woman, in desperation, pushed her sister's relatively tender finger through the crack of the door. The king, believing a young maiden was behind the door, sniffed and licked the finger like a pervert. Unaware that it belonged to an old woman who had sucked on it for half her life a week earlier, he had heard a heavenly voice emanating from this place and was convinced a beauty resided within. Seeing the hand's core response, he was even more certain of his guess, the king. Desiring to take things further, requested to share a bed with the girl, the old woman, not wanting to give up her chance at the king's wealth yet fearful of being discovered.